was born, so I don't really know how this is going to turn out. And I've never performed anything before, so I'm going to be actually very excited. Take your time. Great. Okay. So I'm going to like, change the kind of mood in here. Abundance of our ignorance and our silence, wars, fears, flaws, and past horrors. My life is like a scary movie. The scariest part about it is we all know the black person dies first, so that must mean any black human's life is a scary movie. The fears are that we won't make it to the best part of our movie, which is crazy because it's our movies. Guns cop, guns cop, well, guns cop so quickly you can't even think to say it's not. It's not a gun. Trigger pulls head cocks back so quickly. We don't even get a chance to show you your value. That you're more than a statistic. Too bad you just became the very statistic. Our flaws are obvious. No unity in our communities. We, we become the animals we are portrayed as with no reluctance. Black on black crimes ripped through the nicest of neighborhoods. Brown bodies laid on the concrete. The sidewalks have become the new burial grounds. Forget a wake when we're still looking around like lifeless beings, subconsciously wondering when it'll be our turn. When one gets shot, we all get shot. We lose a piece of us when a mother loses all of her. Or that's how it's supposed to be. Cause that's how it is for me. And to tell you the truth, I'm running low on pieces. We beg for change, yet forgive, yet for, refuse to change ourselves. Our brothers go from corners to corners. We load up, we catch a body, we hold guns. More than we hold our loved ones. When a black brother, blood or not, loses his life. We let it go as easy as the one behind the gun that lets the bullets go. We're being kicked. We're being killed and killing each other like animals, like we're less than human. We join gangs that separate us from one another. We hate on each other because of the amount of melanin. We plead for justice, but are doing the most injustice to ourselves. No cop will listen because we won't listen. Nothing applies to us. Nothing applies to us unless we're the ones behind the group. Unless we're the ones staring down a gun barrel with a full clip, then empty, then be loaded, ready to be emptied again without a chance to pray for a better fate. Past wars are now our everyday horrors. Mothers wake to receive a call of a child pronounced dead on arrival. More like black on arrival, which is why he was shot on arrival. Before she herself even had the chance to gray. Of course, no justice brought to a grieving mother who can't kiss her son's head tonight. We turn on the TV and watch the newscast to tell us that it'll be raining brown bodies all week. We watch a video and all it shows us is an officer cock his gun back with no hesitation. Pull his trigger with animosity full of eyes. Pop, another brown body drops. Pop, 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 another over and over. And that's the overkill of more life going through a brown body than a pencil back. In some ways, the gun shoots us too. So we decide to turn on, to turn off the video. We come woke for a day or two, say a few empty words, march in a few pointless rallies. Then in a few days, it'll just be another brown body left on the concrete. I mean, burial ground. Why are we marching? Where are we marching to? What are we really accomplishing? Because next week I heard the forecast is going to be the same. Because we don't know what we're standing for, and we don't even stand for our own people for more than a day or two. The burial grounds soak up way too much liquor. But it was poor in respect. The burial grounds have seen far too many candlelight visions, teddy bears, and sneakers left to the deceased. Left to the deceased. No, left so the deceased know that you care, but why wait till they're dead when we can't hold them anymore? Where was the love when it mattered? They needed us long before they, long before we realized we needed them and still need them. I see more GoFundMe's for funerals than fundraisers for community centers keeping our youth off the street. Where's our development in our communities? Where's our backbone? I'm still searching. Is it around the corner from where Jalil or Marcus got shot? Somebody remind me. We scream Black Lives Matter, but when a black brother kills another brother, he had it coming. We walk in the shadows of our stereotypes and our oppressors, not realizing how much pride we take in them. We so-called took, so took back our 
wants oppressive slurs like nigga and savage. We drop the ER at the end of our, we drop the ER like we drop our common sense. This goes to show how we still think the co how we still think with the colonizers' reinforced mindset, our sons are subjected to prisons because of statistics before they could even learn their ABCs. But this is our one, two, threes. We refuse to make a change, and our posting and you posting free on names doesn't even begin to suggest change. We can't even throw change. We put on his books. Freedom snatch from birth equality. Snatch at the first time of melanin life snatch. Just when you thought it was safe to breathe, never receiving equity. But I refuse to believe we only have two destinations, jail or welfare.